But there was another moment at, at this Harris rally, multiple moments where this has happened now, where it's the, the chants that were familiar from Donald Trump in 2016, the lock her up chants, and now it is a lock him up chant whenever they are talking about Trump's crimes, the fact that he's a convicted felon. But how Harris handled this moment really stood out to me. She's done this three times now. Watch this. Courts are gonna handle that. We're gonna beat them in November. We're gonna beat them in November. John, the, you know what? The courts are gonna handle that part of it. What we're gonna do is beat them in November. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This campaign, our campaign, is not just a fight against Donald Trump. Our campaign, this campaign, is a fight for the future. Is that how she should be handling that? Do you think yeah. that's the right move? I'll tell you, there's a couple of reasons why it is. First of all, um, it is presidential. It is leaderly. It, you know, she is showing a sane head, someone who is not trying to get that kind of vengeful, negative approach into the discussion. She's actually trying to bring it back to the people, bring it back to the future. Uh, it's obviously a clear contrast to the kind of extremism and pettiness of Trump. The message is coming through, however, convicted felon. Uh, she's artfully, you know, the crowd is saying what they're saying, and that's pure passion. But she's allowing that message through, but also reminding people, uh, we are a party that believes in due process, believes in the rule of law. I think she's handling that perfectly. But now what's real interesting is the convicted felon piece comes back on the table more strongly than ever because of her background as a prosecutor, because she's so measured, and neither Trump nor Vance can meet that tonality. And so it's actually bringing up something that a lot of moderate voters, we, we saw this over and over in the polling, even Republican moderate voters, said, this guy gets convicted, we're going to think twice. This piece is now going to become more and more central to how people make their decisions.